One of the most challenging things to do in life is to figure out what you want to spend your life doing. I mean, we all have a couple of goals in common, one of which is how to make money so that we can be comfortable enough to meet our daily needs and wants. However, the challenge is knowing how to achieve this goal since we all have different interests and desires. We also want to be loved, love others, start a family of ours someday, become successful in our careers, etc. Again, no one knows the perfect way to get these things, so it makes life a little rough for some people. Perhaps, if we are all born with equal opportunities, or if we all knew how to acquire the knowledge that will help us build the victorious life that we desire quickly, then maybe things would have been different. Well, you see, one of the reasons why we find life so challenging is because we've refused to accept some specific truths about life. Maybe we've heard them, but we want to think otherwise. That way, perhaps life will eventually favor us if we don't believe these truths. You don't think that's the truth? Well, in this video, I'll share with you 9 brutal truths people don't want to hear. If you are new here, consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on exciting videos like this. 1. Life is difficult sometimes. The mere fact that sometimes you don't know where you are going, what to do, and who you are can make life a little complicated and scary. Sometimes you can almost feel the entire burden of the world on your shoulders. You feel like the whole world has turned their backs against you, and you are left to figure out what to do all by yourself. Do you know something? Everyone goes through this kind of experience. You see, if you don't experience life on the dark side, you would never recognize the bright side. There's a reason why you. Why now and why it's so hard? So, understanding that life won't always be a bed of roses will help you get through those challenging times. 2. You're responsible for your life. Change or any positive outcome can only begin the moment you realize that you are in charge of your life, not your dad, mom, spouse, work, co-workers or anyone else. When you don't understand your impact on your very life, you'll be at the mercies of life and whatever situation it brings your way. Have you wondered why some people who were born in the most unpleasant circumstances of life still end up making the best use of their lives? They end up becoming successful and influential because they learn this life lesson early enough to take responsibility for their lives. Winston Churchill, a British politician and writer, once said, the price of greatness is responsibility. According to Hal Elrod, an American author and success coach, the moment you take responsibility for everything in your life is the moment you can change anything in your life. To get ahead, learn and accept the fact that you alone are responsible for your life and the choices that you make. 3. People judge a book by its cover, so your appearance matters. Everyone goes around saying, never judge a book by its cover. Well, the truth is that we all judge each other by our appearances. It might not be something that you want to hear, but your appearance says more about the way you perceive yourself than about the way the world treats you. It's not rocket science, guys. Although it sounds selfish of humans, it's just the way we are. You see, if you want to be taken seriously, you have to start by taking yourself seriously. We prefer to be around people who look clean and healthy. So start by taking care of yourself and your appearance. Invest in yourself. Get healthy. Hit the gym. Do away with excess junk food. Buy yourself a decent pair of shoes and some beautiful clothes. Take care of your hair and skin, etc. If you want to be treated better by others, start by treating yourself better, and it should reflect on your appearance. 4. We are not born equal. In an ideal world, it wouldn't matter where you were born, the color of your skin, eyes, or hair. Nothing will matter because we'll all have equal opportunities and results. However, the world is not that kind of ideal place. There's a lot to deal with, depending on where you were born. For instance, in some countries, if you are a girl child, you will be lucky if you survive at birth. If you do, you are likely to be an illiterate, probably sold into human trafficking before you reach your teens or be labeled as a witch and shunned by society. Whereas in some other country, you get to live freely and do whatever you choose to do. Some people are born into wealthy homes and have life play fair to them when it comes to money. Some of those, on the other hand, are born into abject poverty and then have to struggle to get every single thing that they own, including each day's meal. See? We are not all equal after all. 5. You have negative emotions. Whether or not you care to admit it, we all have negative emotions. So, sometimes, 
We overthink things and worry that we may never make it in life. Yes, we hear a lot of stories about staying positive and thinking positively. It doesn't negate the fact that we have some negativity in us. However, the extent to which we can subdue this negativity and bring out the positive vibe in us is what will help us become better people. 6. There's always someone better than us. We all secretly wish we are better than the people around us, so we try to work hard, improve ourselves, and do a lot of all that stuff that can make us more successful. Perhaps it will make us better than our neighbors. But here's the truth. No matter what we do and how much we try, there will always be someone better than us, one way or the other. 7. Life is a competition, but you are your only competitor. Let's say you work so hard to be at the top of your field and you're everyone's favorite until someone shows up someday who's better than you. What do you do? Most times, we try to outsmart the people who are better than us instead of focusing on how we can get better. Yes, there will always be competitions to win in life, but the only competition that should matter to you is the competition against yourself. Your aim should be to get better, not comparing yourself to others and wanting to outsmart them. 8. Happiness comes from what you do to others. It's tempting to think that happiness comes from money and fame, but it doesn't. Yes, wealth and success can buy you positive experiences. They can help you choose a better reality for yourself. However, the only way to be genuinely happy is by helping others become better. Although everyone's trying to help themselves, fight for their bellies and that of their families. Even if you get all the money in the world, it won't make you happy if you don't live your life helping others. Think about the people around you that you can help. Take actions today and watch how it'll make you feel. 9. Your purpose is not unique to you. Contrary to what we think, our purpose is not unique to individuals. It is universal. For instance, the use of a mattress will always be to lie on. Whether it is a fancy one or not, if it has so many more features but cannot serve that one single purpose of allowing people to lay on it, then it isn't a mattress anymore. As humans, we might all have different features, likes and dislikes, passion, etc. But the purpose is something we all have in common. It is to be useful to humanity. It's about helping people achieve a goal. Ralph Waldo Emerson said, The purpose of life is not to be happy. It is to be useful, to be honorable, to be compassionate, to have it make some difference that you have lived and lived well. Our purpose is to make the world a better place through whatever platform we like while leaving a legacy for the world to follow. Thank you very much for watching our videos. If you like this video, watch more videos on our channel and subscribe. We love you.